Hi everyone, um, so welcome back. I'm hoping that you saw my first video, which was basically kind of like a little introduction um, and a little bit of my story about studying abroad not internationally but domestically um but i am actually back home in miami florida today's video is mainly about um healthy eating habits especially in college because that's what we are promoting in the month of march um and i think with everything going on we just really kind of need to stay on track and like stay in our routine as much as possible without deviating um i've actually had to create a new routine because now that i've left washington i'm back at home and it's like not much has changed but again everything has changed um like from all my eating habits over there to like what i have available here um when i was in dc i was eating out all the time like every lunch when i was at work was somewhere outside um dinner was always at home and then thursday to sunday i was in the city exploring um and seeing different things so i was having like breakfast lunch and dinner like outside of the house um, and if it wasn't like a full meal, like it was still picking up a snack, but even then like how healthier snacks. Um, so something that I wanted to talk about because I'm not a dorming student, I'm a commuter student. It was a little easier for me to eat healthier. I will say like my first two years of college, I didn't really do that at all. Um, I was so like excited about having Burger King on campus and having chilies on campus that I was always eating lunch on campus and as much as my mom would make lunch and leave it at home for me and she would tell me take this to school with you and eat there I would just be like yeah yeah don't worry and I would just like hide it or throw it out or take it and then not eat it and like she's gonna watch this and like roll her eyes because she knows exactly what I'm talking about um, but it's okay to eat out I know when you're dorming it's harder because you don't necessarily always have a kitchen um but if you're gonna eat out like at least make the healthier options don't the choices don't really do what i did which was oh i'm gonna go to burger king today and i'm gonna order a chicken sandwich with cheese but i'm gonna add bacon to it like there, there was absolutely no health value in that but now i feel like i'm a full like fledged adult now because I go out and I can't say I always order a salad because any of my friends who watch this are going to call me a liar. But we have a restaurant on campus called Spoil Tropical. I, I can assure you there's like no other college campus in the U.S. that has this restaurant. I'm pretty sure it's just like a Florida thing. Um, I go to Boy Tropical on campus and I get salad. And I feel so proud of myself because there was a day... That I like I would laugh in your face if you told me hey go order a salad like let's be healthy today I really think you need to evaluate your options especially if you're eating on campus and there's not like many like opportunities to be healthy um, I think like the thing that I have seen I haven't done it personally but I have a friend named Vanessa who I think for like I don't know if she still does this because she graduated college but every time I saw her and we would eat she would bring her sandwich from home and it's not like the craziest sandwich in the world it's not like a, a club sandwich but it was a simple ham and cheese and she didn't have to buy food from campus she didn't have to leave campus to go get anything she had her sandwich and that like kept her happy um so i think that's super super simple that's definitely something that's like doable even if you live in a dorm um so when i was in dc my parents sent me there, not sent me there, I went there, but when I went to DC, I was like, okay, maybe I should learn how to cook, because I don't know how to cook. I kind of, no, I don't know how to cook. <sighs> but I saw like little things that my family was doing. Um, I lived with my aunt, so when she was making dinner, like there were certain times that I would go and I would just stand and watch. And I remember like, I don't eat greens, like I... I am anemic I don't I don't eat greens which is so bad I've changed that I've started like I make my own asparagus at home I eat carrots like you know it's like baby steps um yesterday I had a whole bowl of avocado just to eat avocado and like uh, it made me full so that was like pretty good but I saw my aunt making asparagus and she was like and I had told her I like asparagus but I only like it when it has sauce on it 
like a cheese sauce or something and she was like so you like the vegetable when it's camouflaged as something unhealthy and I was like yeah basically so she made asparagus literally the next day and she was like I'm trying to show you that this is something super simple that you could eat and cook and like it's it's not even bad tasting so she made the asparagus when I tell you it took less than five minutes all you do is get a pan you put the asparagus in the pan put a little bit of oil some salt some black pepper saute it a little bit not even five minutes on low because you don't want to burn your asparagus and it's done and now every time I'm hungry and I don't want to like cook a, a, a whole chicken I'm like okay I'm just gonna make some asparagus and that'll be my snack for today instead of having Cheez-Its or cookies which are always my go-to I'm eating asparagus and like who would have thought you know I mean, so those are all the tips that I have. Um, if anybody has any more ideas, you can drop them in the comments. Or, you know, make your own video. Like, spread the knowledge, share the wealth. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. So, bye.